A surge in COVID-19 cases that resulted in an increase in hospitalizations and has pushed the island's health sector on the brink of a crisis led to the implementation of new and tightened COVID-19 prevention measures. They were announced by Prime Minister Andrew Holness on Sunday. According to Prime Minister Holness, the government has been forced to shift policy efforts in order to preserve lives and livelihoods. The new measures, some of which took effect on Monday, March 1, are as follows. All places of worship, including churches, will engage in only online services. However, a maximum of 10 persons are allowed inside the worship center to facilitate online broadcasting. Zoos, parks, gyms, attractions and bars will close at 6 p.m. until March 22nd. Public beaches and rivers will also be closed until March 22nd. Only students sitting exit exams will be permitted to have face-to-face -face classes. This is applicable to both public and private institutions. Persons 60 years and older must stay at home. And all social events in the public sector must be hosted online. And the Prime Minister says effective March 4, the work-from-home arrangements must be introduced in the public sector. Effective the 8th of March to the 22nd of March, funerals and burials will be prohibited. We have given a directive to the municipal authorities that no burial orders should be issued. So from the 1st to the 7th, funerals that were already scheduled which we think is only fair, we give notice. So those funerals can go ahead, but they must conform with the rules under the Disaster Risk Management Act. Ten mourners and five um, inclusive clergy and attendants. Fifteen, no more. And all persons traveling to Jamaica, including Jamaicans, must present a negative COVID-19 test within 72 hours prior to the travel date. Business travelers must present a pre-test result and will incur the cost of a PCR test after arrival in the island. And the government has placed a ban on the hosting of funerals and burial services effective March 8. A work-from-home arrangement in the public sector and the permanent secretaries are directed to have only persons who work in critical service delivery and where the nature of the work performed requires that the job functions be performed at the physical office location. This means that for the public sector, meaning ministries, departments, and agencies, there is now a hard work from home rule. The rule will be determined by the permanent secretaries. The permanent secretaries are to determine what are critical mission services, in other words, services that are needed to keep the agencies, the ministries functioning. Those are permitted to work from work but everybody else should be working from home. Weddings are allowed a maximum of 25 persons, including the bride, groom, officiating pastor, and bridal party. Aisha Nation, Frontline News.